What, what does that mean, Deja? That's the strangest thing I've ever seen in a game, and I've been playing video games since Pong. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Space Haven, where we've had our first combat. We've gone into battle against the giant murder spiders, and it went... okay. It was not terrible. Deja's taken a bit of a beating over here, so Deja got bit by the giant spiders. You have monster bites. Fifteen of them, apparently. Well, I don't know, you have a rating of fifteen on your monster bites, so that can't possibly be good. But apparently it's going to expire in eleven hours, and you're up and about. Are you going to the space toilet? No, good, okay, because I need to address the space toilet yet again. And you really hate Blair. I mean, really hate. I don't know how bad negative three is, but you're not keen on Blair. Is it because I favor her, Deja? Because she literally does everything around here. And by literally does everything, I mean she builds everything and maintains everything. There she is right now, doing a thing. What are you doing, Deja? Actually, where, where are you going? What, what, what's your deal? What are you doing? Where, where are you going? Oh, are we still mining that? There's nothing there, Deja. There, there's nothing there. What would be better is if we went back to the derelict ship that we cleared the spiders out of and started getting all the stuff out of it. I noticed here there's transfer. So there's all these resources, including a human foot. I, I guess we're going to take the human foot. You know what? Just get all of them. Get everything. Yeah, transfer all the stuff, please. And then also there's salvage. Now, it looks like there is some stuff there for us to get, but I'm not entirely sure the difference between salvage and transfer. I mean, I do know the difference of those two words. I understand that those are two completely different words. Toggle transfer for automatic scrap transportation. Well, that's what I want. I, I want you to go get all the stuff. Even if we don't have a high probability of finding any of it, go get it. it looks like we're going to do well on the old infra scrap. Everybody loves some infra scrap. So theoretically, I've done that correctly. I'm sure I will be corrected in the comments if I haven't. Speaking of being corrected in the comments, let's address some other issues that I've got wrong. I did not know that there's a front and a back to this ship. Apparently, this bit down here is the back of the ship. I had no idea. At some point, we're supposed to be building, you know, engines and navigation and things that get us through space, because we have basically taken everything out of this region. We have to figure out how to go somewhere else. I assume that's what we're going to start to do with this whole build a hull stabilizer, who's even what's it there. But now I have to think about designing a spaceship. See, as someone in the comments pointed out, I was just building this Rimworld, Rimworld style, which is building out what I need until I had the space that I need. But now I got to sort of start thinking like a spaceship, which is hard because to my knowledge, spaceships don't think unless they're on like Star Trek or something, in which case they have stellar personalities. Anyway, putting that aside, I'm going to give Blair some things to do. Specifically, now that I know this is going to look like a spaceship, now I have to start Adrian monking it up because I've got a little knobbly bit over here without a corresponding knobbly bit over here. So I've, I've got a, a, this is going to wreck my hull points. This is the thing, or my hull blocks rather. I'm not going to have enough to do what I want to do, but I am going to take this down there because now I'll have a corresponding knobbly bit down here. I'm very excited about that. And every now and then, this will come as no surprise, I get a little pop-up about the space toilet again, that it's a bad environment. And I thought to myself, I wonder if there's no heat in there. Because the heaters are outside here. There's a heater in the bedroom area. There's a heater in kind of the main room over here. But there's no actual heat in there. And I'm wondering if it's getting chilly in the space toilet. And nobody wants a cold space toilet. Let me tell you that right now. And then I thought probably what I should do is put in the vent. The air vent. That seems sensible. So if we put this in like this... Will that make the space toilet all nice and happily warm and comfy and whatnot? I don't know if that's the problem, but that's that's about what I've got. We've got a light in there. They can access the space toilet. It's nice and closed off and private. The only thing they don't have right now is easy access to heat. I would assume, like any other colony builder, that when they open the door, heat will go in there. But when the door has been closed for a long time, it probably cools off. That's my guess. Anyway, back to Deja. What are you doing? You're... What are you mining? What Woman, what are you mining? It says zero out of three. Okay, now it's done. 
Now it's done. Now you're going over here. Hopefully at some point you're going to get the stuff out of the thing. And that's it for mining. Once you're done with whatever it is you're doing down here, we have nothing left to mine. Um, Blair, Blair, wh wh what are you up to these days? Where is Blair? Oh, Blair, Blair, what are you doing? Blair? Blair, come here. Talk to me, Blair. Okay, I think I hadn't quite set the transfer thing right. So now, now I've got it. They're going to take everything out of here and bring it over here. So these 17 items are now going to come over here. I hadn't clicked the right thing. Again, nobody will be particularly surprised. Oh, Blair, you built my knobbly bit. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm very, very excited about that. Now it matches. And it's a little bit more room in our production room, so I want to slap another thing in there. That will be fine. Now, how many hull blocks do I actually have left? Uh, that's energy uh, hull. 21. Okay, how can I Adrian Monk my spaceship up with 21 blocks? First of all, that's an odd number. That's, that's just going to cause problems right there. I think, as someone in the comments had pointed out, I might start creating little wings. So there might be sort of a living quarters medical wing over here, maybe a prisoner wing. Blair, are you punching people? You had a punching icon above your head. Blair, people already don't like you because you're clearly my favorite, but don't actually get into fights with people if you could help it. So I'm thinking like a medical wing, living quarters, maybe a prisoner thing over here. I don't know what's going to live over here yet. And then the front can maybe be well, possibly a giant space toilet is what I'm thinking, and the bridge. So, you know, everything we need to control the ship and fight off aliens and have shields and whatnot, and then more space toilet. Although now that I'm saying all of that, I should probably back burner my living quarters human beings wing over here in favor of... Well, somewhere to put the hull stabilizer for a start. I am sure Tutorial Ninja is going to take us down the path of getting out of this system, because obviously there's a limited amount of resources here, so we're going to need to leave pretty quickly. Speaking of a limited amount of resources, I wouldn't mind making the food grow area bigger. I'd like to get another food growy machine in here. I could take down a bit of this wall, extend this wall over. Yeah, I already like what I'm what I'm saying to myself in the privacy of my own home. I'm going to demolish this, bring this wall over here. In fact, there's no reason I can just bring the wall right to meet the airlock thingamajiggy here. I could put another door here if we need to get out. There's a door here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to execute almost everything that I just said. And once again, everyone is up bright and early playing Pac-Man and trying to get into the one space toilet. And somebody had said in the comments, just start messing with people's schedules so they're not all getting up at exactly the same time and playing Pac-Man. I'm going to keep Blair as is. I don't think any of these people have any specific needs for like being up in the daytime, being up in the nighttime. We're in the middle of space. There is no day and night. So that can't be relevant. So I'm going to say, how many hours do you guys actually sleep? You sleep five hours. Wow, good for you guys. Um, I wish I could regularly get five hours sleep in a row. One, two, three, four, five. There, you do that then, but you work this time. So you work there. And then you, uh, Miles, you're going to sleep here for no reason other than that was the blocks I started clicking. And then you are going to overlap kind of like this, Norbert. I don't really talk about you a lot, Norbert. You're not my favorite. I won't, I won't lie about that, Norbert. Now, let's see if that shuffles people around and reduces the strain on the space toilet and the Pac-Man machine. Um, some of you have gotten up only to go immediately back to bed, but it's fine. It's totally fine. What's unreachable? What? Oh, for God's sakes. You've... you've You've built one wall without taking down the corresponding walls. So you could get in and build the other walls. Blair, I love you. Really, I do. I couldn't build a wall right on this tile right here. I guess somehow it interfered with the airlock thing. So it has to cut a weird corner in here. But basically, it's fine. Basically, it's fine. Um, speaking of Blair, what are you up to? Where, where are you going? Where, Blair? Blair, you're a woman of mystery, aren't you? You just sort of do things and... Don't really check in with me at all, which is, is fine. That's fine, Blair. 
Okay, Blair has renegotiated the growing area. What is your problem? Part of the ship is unreachable. How? Is this little corner blocking the airlock? I can't... Are you serious? Okay, I'll renegotiate the walls again. I do find the pathing to be a little fussy. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very honest about that. The pathing and the inability of things to occupy what is effectively the same tile, like the fact that I can't put this grow lab here because a light that's actually up on a wall, which would not in any way, any way interfere with it, is blocking it. I find that a little fussy, but I will work with what I've got. Oh, Blair, Blair, we're going to, we're going to kind of have to redo this. Again, I know you've taken down like every single wall and then put them back on up numerous times, but here we are, Blair. It's your fault for being the only one who's really any good at anything. Well, Norbert, I am very casually dismissive of you, but I notice while I've been watching Blair do everything else, you've been very diligently using the water recycler, Huzi McWhatsit. So you've been getting the ice that we've mined, you're bringing it over here, and you're using this very, very fancy machine to turn the ice into water. Norbert, I'm not sure we need a really fancy machine for that. Getting water out of ice is as easy as leaving it at room temperature. You could put it on the floor. You could put a block of ice in a bucket, and there's your water recycler thing. But anyway, good job, Norbert, at least moving the ice over here. Well done. Um, other thing that came up in the comments that I had thought about the last time and was immediately told, oh god, no, don't do that, thank you for those comments, as always, is don't put an oxygen thingy in the production e room because apparently this mach these machines have a tendency to catch on fire and fire without oxygen won't last too long but if i put an oxygen thing in here although it will be very handy for people because they won't have to put a spacesuit on and therefore they won't get sad about wearing a spacesuit it will also increase our fire problem so guys you're gonna have to kind of live with the spacesuit thing uh where's blair these days I, I need her to be doing things oh you're uh getting getting the stuff oh good job blair i would love to actually assign that to somebody else, but you're so wonderfully competent, I'm just going to let you kind of do your thing. Now, Blair, what exactly is it that what you're doing falls under? It's obviously not botany. It's not mining, because you're not doing any mining anymore. Is it industry? Is that what collecting those salvageable resources is? Is it logistics? I still don't know what logistics actually means. I, I don't know what what whom would I prioritize to do the logistics because what is it is is essentially what I'm asking here ah okay the Blair's at some point in time has got those walls down let me see if I can renegotiate this a little bit better so I want this to come here and then here that should allow access to everything I'm pretty sure looks like we got a lot of repair issues coming up too um Blair Blair I really I need you to focus, like really focus on, well, keep medical up, construction and maintenance. That's what I would like your primary duties to be. Other people will handle going out and getting the other materials from the salvage ship. You focus on the important stuff, like doing all the things that I've asked you to do. And while we're getting all of that done, let me start planning out this whole hull stabilizer thing. I am... Oh... I, this is pretty much going to take all of my hull blocks, isn't it? All right. Um, I want it to come back here and basically encompass both of these rooms. I don't know if I'm going to need an oxygen thing in this thing. Anyway, let's just start from some fundamentals here. What if we went like that and then like that? Is that an even number on both sides? There's one, two, three over there and then one, two, three over there. Okay, that should be even. If it's not, it's going to make me mental, and we're going to have to start all over again. And I should probably start thinking about some more power, I imagine. This one power generator that we've got, the one that came with the ship, that can't possibly support all of this over time. That just doesn't make sense. What are my other options in power? What, what other things do I've got? Okay, an array of power generators, small, medium, and large, I would I would imagine. Do I know which one this is? 
I do not off the top of my head, so I've stopped thinking about it. Okay, I really just need Blair to get back and get the bit of the hull done there. Hopefully it all turns out nice and even. Miles, you're you're doing things. What is this thing again? Uh, the metal refinery. Oh, good. You're making steel plates. Well done, Miles. Good way to contribute to the colony here. Hey, Deja, how's the monster bites going? Oh, they're they're healed. They're cured. They're completely cured. As uh, someone had said in the comments, don't sweat the spider bites too much. They will pretty much heal over time. But watch out for bleeding. Bleeding is bad. And then went on to say that you're going to want to set up a medical bed, which I assumed. This is not my first colony builder. I, I don't claim to be good at them, but I do claim to play them a lot. So I assumed there was a medical bed. And then before I started recording, I started going through all of the furniture. I don't, I don't see any medical bed. I see regular single bed, and I see bunk bed. I don't... I, I went through every menu. I don't immediately see where medical bed is, or a way to make this bed into a medical bed. So the, the commenter had said, get a medical bed. Do please chip in again, if you could, and say, hey, it's in this menu, you moron. You just didn't see it. Because I don't immediately find that, and I don't see where we would create a medical area. I do see set prisoner area. I can make a jail, but I don't seem to be able to make a hospital. So do please chime in again and say, here's what I meant about the medical bed. It's in this men menu, you complete idiot. Why don't you look at these games more closely? Yeah, I think we need power sooner rather than later. All of these machines are going through little brownouts. They're just in and out of power all the time. I, I kind of felt that. I mean, it's just... It, it's self-evident that this one power generator was not going to keep going forever. And speaking of which, what do you consume again? The energy rods. How many of those do we have left? Oh, 34. Okay, we're not, we're not running out of those anytime in the near future. Actually, I don't know that. I don't know how long they last. But here we are. We've got 34 of them. So we've got 34 more shots at keeping the lights on around here. Oh, that was, what was, that was something I was going to think of. We don't have lights in the bedroom. I bet, I bet people would be wicked into it. Ah, you know, ooh, er, mm, now that I say that, I was going to kind of blow out this bedroom and maybe have a bash at doing some single bedrooms for people. I don't know if they're really interested in that. I don't know if that's a, a want that they have, but it seems like it might be. I mean, everyone likes to have a private bedroom, whether they're in a video game or not. So... You know what? Just put a light up. I can always move it if I have to. I just feel they'll like having a light in there. People like to have lights on when they want to do things. And Blair, Blair, I'm so sorry. I'm going to throw one more thing on your plate. You are just the best, Blair. Don't don't ever go anywhere. No, really, like, don't ever go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't die. Don't become injured. What's the medium grow bed? That's this one. And then, uh, yeah, that works. That's fine. Um... Where could we put that? How about right here? That seems like a good spot. Yeah, somebody get on that, please. By somebody, I obviously mean Blair. But you other folks can haul the resources over there. That's how you help Blair. Really, all of you are here to support Blair. That's your jobs. Now, I'm replacing that with a slightly larger one because I realize now I just put up exactly the same thing that I put up before. I want to get more food. So let's get one that has more growing beds in it. And then I still got room to put another one there if I want to. We can make this a pretty big botany area eventually. Yeah, power's got to get solved. How's my, um, oh, what did I just, what did I just turn on there? Sorry, I hit the wrong key. Uh, how's my hull coming, Blair? You've done absolutely nothing with that. You've, you've built one little knobbly bit and not much else. Oh, you're in bed. I'm sorry, Blair. Yeah, you're the only one who sleeps at a normal time. Everyone else is, well, everyone else is up and about. I did see a bit of a line at the Pac-Man machine. Oh, you know what I should change? I know what I should change. Their free time. That's when the Pac-Man is happening. That's the problem here. So you uh, don't have free time while you're actually asleep. But you can have, um, I don't know, a free time then and a free time then. And then this just became work time. Yeah, Pac-Man is kind of a free time activity. You're just going to have sporadic free time at all times. You can stay exactly the same. And then, I mean, do they want free time in a bunch of blocks? I, You know what? It's not my problem. I, I can't satisfy all these people. You can have free time right then. There you go. And then you will work then. Right. 
that should free up a little bit of the Pac-Man machine and maybe some of the toilet machine. I don't know if they consider that a free time activity. I don't. I consider that a vital part of my day. But for these guys, it might be recreational. Okay, so two more beds because I got the medium one that we can get some stuff growing. We've done root vegetables. Why don't you do... Oh, I would like to do just artificial meat and fruit, but I feel we should work on the fibers. I don't think we... Yeah, we don't have a lot of those. So do that. Plant one of those and then uh, artificial meat because everybody loves artificial meat. And I think the only other meat we have is the human foot. So let's hold off on that. Let's save that for special. Maybe there'll be a holiday that comes up that specifically one would eat a human foot for. Anyway, um, you, wait. Legendary pants. Wh wh what does that mean, Deja? That's the strangest thing I've ever seen in a game, and I've been playing video games since Pong. Okay, Deja was playing Pac-Man, and then the words legendary pants popped up over her head. Deja, you are a woman, right? I, I often confuse that in Colony Bills. I'm just going to assume that you are. Deja, tell me about your legendary pants. Are they your legendary pants? Did you win legendary plant pants while you were playing Pac-Man? I have no idea what just happened to her. Okay, Blair's mostly done with the hull, so let's get some walls going here. Uh, yeah, the classic X1. Everybody loves that. Let's get this to go like that. Do I want that to go like that? No, let's try and save that little bit of space in the botany area, just in case I need something in there. We'll get an idea for a door there, and maybe, well, obviously we should do the airlocky door here. Oh, P.S., is everyone, like, dying now that I've broken this wall down? Oh, well, uh, well, learn to cope with that information. All right, uh, life support, is that where, no, wait, wait, go back to wall, that's where the airlocky door is. Uh, right, and this goes, like, this. I already see this room is too small. This room is already too small. I mean, I can only imagine that it's too small because, um, you know, I got more stuff I wanted to put in here, like a power generator. I probably have room for it here. Why are you all red? What's your problem? I'm going to see if I can slide. Like, what's, what's the small power generator? It's that one. Okay, we can totally tuck that in here. Like, right there. And then it can link to the other thing. And I would assume that because we link to that one, and that one's linked to other things, and I did, I believe, set these links up to be two-way links, not one-way links, that it'll kind of form a bit of a circuit and boost power to everything. So, yeah, do that. Build that. And by build that, I mean Blair. Back to work. Well, thank you, Blair. I appreciate you getting that done for me. Let's link right to here. And then these should all be two-way links. So this should feed through the ship and, and contribute to the power overall. That, that's my goal, anyway. I wonder, here's what I wonder. This is what I'm thinking. Because we're basically, we, we, <laughs> we. I still am in tutorial phase here. I wonder if I'm building way too many things and using up very finite resources that the tutorial is going to say, all right, now you need to build your rockets for your ship and build all of your bridge. Uh-oh, you blew all your resources on the second power generator and the second grow bed. I just feel that's the way this is going. I could be totally wrong. Maybe we're going to have plenty of resources. Maybe I'm swimming. What is that? Rubble. Oh, good. I'm glad we brought that along. Um, I, I, feel, I feel I'm going to run out of resources. Oh, a solar panel. How, how do we use a solar panel inside? How does that work? I'd like one of those, but that shouldn't work indoors. Unless there's some sort of like special hull that I build outside that isn't enclosed, just like a platform of some sort. Oh, do let me know in the comments. I'd like to put solar panels up. I just don't feel they would work inside. Anyway, let's finally, finally get the hull stabilizer, Hoosie McWhat's it done. So what is that, system? Yeah, give me one of these. Okay, it's pretty big. We're going to put it up anyway. Sort of right there-ish. Okay, go, kids, go. And by kids, I basically mean Blair. Oh, actually, Blair, Blair, um, heads up, Blair, we should probably put 
oxygen in here because I realize now there's probably no oxygen. Let's find out. Um, how, how are we doing there? Well, how's my oxygen overlay going here? There is, there is some oxygen in there. There's not no oxygen in there. Uh, but it's coming down and I don't feel it's going to come back up because there's no oxygen in there. I should probably do that or I should make this door into the airlock door so they'll put their space suits on before they come in here do please let me know in the comments as usual um do basically you know hold my hand through this entire space haven experience but I'd like to I'd like to not put the airlock door up I'd like to just put oxygen in here but then I wonder if we're into the whole you're going to burn your ship down if I do that thing for right now um, again, how's my, yeah, my oxygen is coming down extremely quickly. So for, for today, I'm, I'm just going to put in, oh, wow, those things are big. I'm just going to put it in, I, er, it, er, it is fussy that I can't put that right next to that because the entrance to the door is right there. It's not on, it's not on that side. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Everything is hundred percent fine. Everybody stop panicking. Uh, just put it over there for right now. I don't have a big enough space here. I'm sure I'm going to need tons more things to put in here. Uh, Norbert, Norbert, quick heads up. There's no air in here. Uh, so probably bring the materials to the oxygen generator first. Oh, and storage is getting super full too. Okay. So my little storage out here is full. That one is darn close to full. This one is not as full, but we don't store much in there. We only store the raw resources in there. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe you could store some more things. You know what? I think I'll probably put a storage in the botany area that maybe just deals with food things. I don't know what those are. Probably food. Or, or, different idea, Dave, we could put one over by the kitchen area that just had food. So they'll take the raw food, they'll bring it to the kitchen, and then they'll make it into slightly better food. Um, I was reminded I, I, several times that I can actually put this table up by the couch uh, and they'll sit on the couch to eat at the table, but uh, I'll live with what I've got right now. I don't feel any pressing need to move that unless they're wicked sad about eating near the pods. But if they're not, I'm just, I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll, I'll do that when I need that space. Yeah, pretty much exactly what I thought. The second that Blair was finished with the hull stabilizer, now we're building a hyperdrive and a navigation console. So we're going to make our ship go somewhere, which is good because we've kind of run this system dry. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Space Haven for today. Do please keep the comments coming in. I, feel our little colony here is only alive because of the comments section so far. So do please keep those coming. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time. We embrace all religions here in Tropico, so long as the practitioners of that religion remember that we have a crocodile farm over here and that the fence is not crocodile proof. Okay, all right, oh god, a new incident. Um, childbirth. You know what? You know what, lady? Lady? We've been doing this for billions of years. Do you think you can handle this one by yourself, please? Just, you know what? Nature will get you through. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.